Good afternoon, cactus people. Just had a humongous shower, which involved me getting in out of the rain and abandoning the tractor. But I'd finished cutting the grass, so that's okay. And as I came in, I noticed that Daz's Gymnocalisium has burst into bloom. I've been waiting for it to open for about three or four days now. And it's, uh, I'll give this a go, it's a Gymnocalisium Michal, I'll start again, Mihanovicii. How was that for a pronunciation? It's got a lovely pink tinge to it. And it's a, a variegated form that Daz sent me. That's Daz from Cactomania, of course. Gorgeous little plant. Uh, next to him is uh, your normal version, which um, has had some flowers open on and off for a few days now. It was just the variegated one that uh, was a bit hesitant to flower. And we've got a few others next to it. The uh, Damsey Eye, which has got uh, flowers coming out the side of it this year. I don't remember it doing that last year. It may have done, but very nice. And way over here, at the back of the cactus house, we have the Cacti Mania shelf. Now there's not many people south of the River Thames that have got one called a Cacti Mania shelf. Uh, these are some of the lovely plants that Daz has sent me over the past year or so. And one or two of them have flowered which I've taken individual photos but some of those photos got stuck on my old computer that broke so uh, if I have got some I'll put them on as stills at the end of the video. This one is um, Gymnoplatygonum, which uh, was open a bit more earlier. But, um, and we've got one there that's um, already set a seed pod, which is excellent. That's not all of Daz's plants, I've got a few dotted about the place. But I uh, just thought I'd show you the ones in bloom. And like I say, if I've got the others, I'll stick them on. And um, one of one other of Daz's plants is the um is it the Terracactus, forgot the name then. Which I've just taken a few cuttings of this morning so I broke a piece off by accident, so I thought I might as well take some cuttings at the same time. And that's um looking healthy, as you know I probably know I potted it up a few months ago in a nice deep um planter because they have a tap root on them and they need some it uh, a bit deeper to get, get their roots into and I wanted to be able to keep an eye on it so it's quite a delicate plant but um, I've seen Cactus Joe's ones flower and they look gorgeous when they come out so looking forward to that okay well, I suppose it's time to and put everything else away because I don't think we'll be doing much more outside with this rain. The uh, rain barrels are all full up now. We've got about 4,000 litres capacity. And in the past couple of days, well, overnight really, they've filled right up to the top, which is fantastic. Because we were again down to our last few barrels. And I do like to water the cactus with um, rainwater. I know not all of them are lime sensitive, but uh, we're in a very hard water area here. So um, it's easier to use rainwater for everything and then uh, use a calcareous soil for things that do want uh, something different. All right. We'll finish off with the Alastera. Thank you for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video.